Hi, it's Sarah here from Crafting and Stamping and I'm back with another quick tip. And my tip today is about using striped patterns and how you can embellish them. Um, I recently did a card where I was talking about embellishing a spotted pattern and how you can do that with your gems, etc. So today we're going to look at stripes. And this week I've been using the Dandy Designs papers. These are free with a £90 purchase during celebration. And I've just picked out some of the striped patterns from this set. Um, we've got some really great diagonal stripes. I love diagonal ones because they actually just give that impression um of of move, a little bit of movement they they're more dynamic than a straight stripe a straight stripe is very solid uh it feels grounded whereas a diagonal like i say just gives that dynamic look a little bit of an impression of movement so i particularly love the diagonals you can always cut a plain stripe into a diagonal, but you're then obviously going to lose some of your paper. With this pack of papers, you can afford to do that really. So, but I'm going, like I said, I'm going to work with these diagonal ones today and give you just a few ideas for how you can dress up these papers. These ones in particular, are, I, I do love because they've got the broad stripes and the narrow stripes. And you can use these in a variety of ways. Now, one of the things that you can do is actually use the stripes for placement of your sentiment. So if I just grab some sentiments. So I'm not actually going to do that with this particular one but you could pick out something like this congratulations stamp and you could stamp this in the center of this um, broad stripe. What I would do is center it and then repeat it and just go off the line at each end. And then again, you can start to stamp it on the other broader stripes as well. So that is one way that we could use this. And of course, it doesn't matter what colour we're using for that. So stamping in those stripes is a great um, option. Another option is using up scraps of ribbon. Um, we've all got scraps of ribbon. I'm sure if you use ribbon at all, then you've got scraps in your box and you don't need a lot for covering these over. And you can either put something like this, a broad one, in the middle of the broad stripe, or you can put it over like that to create a look of it all being broad stripes. So you could put a couple of pieces of ribbon over like that. You could go for a narrower ribbon and again, use that just maybe in the centres of your broader stripes, or you can cover over some of the really skinny ones like that. So there are multiple ways to use your ribbons. Um, and all I would do to secure this is I would actually wrap it around and fasten it down on the other side. Now I'm going to, for my card today, use some more pieces of the same pack of the Dandy Designs paper. So I've cut some one inch strips and I'm actually going to place these. Like I say, I've, I'm going to put this over the top there so that it looks like it's one really broad stripe. But you could alter this. You could go for something like that where it covers over so very much and it looks almost as though you've just got a solid background. If you were to, let me just pop these on. So if you were to place these, you could create something that looks more like a solid background. But that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually put it over the these ones here, like that. So I'm just going to adhere these. And when I can get my seal. And 
I find it easiest to to actually just, and I probably should have got my silicon mat because it's going to stick to other things, but we'll risk it. So the silicon mat would stop the adhesive sticking to bits that I don't want. So I'm just going to stick that across and then flip it over and use the back as a guide for cutting away the excess. So nice and easy to do. And while I'm using the other strips from of the same DSP pack for this, this is another way to use up those scraps of special foiled papers. You know, anything that's a little bit special, you've not wanted to chuck it away. It's there in your craft cupboard. Um, and it's ideal for, for these sorts of cards. So again, I'm just going to flip this over use the back of my paper as a guide so like i say a great way for using up scraps and i'll just put this final one on and i'm going to put this one here and i'm just trying to make sure that i've got an even amount of that stripe above and below or reasonably even it's not necessarily entirely straight but it's straight enough and i've actually i'm actually layering this with another card from layer today so i've gone with a balmy blue base and coastal cabana um not a uh, a usual sort of color choice uh for me but I wanted to bring out these colours here um, and the green that is in the pack is actually granny apple green but these are not granny apple green so I've gone with the coastal cabana there and so that is going to be my card front for this card so I hope that's given you some ideas for taking striped papers and transforming them and it's also a great way, as I say, of using up uh, scraps from your cupboard, ribbons, little strips of uh, fancy papers, little strips of other DSP. So I hope that that helps. Please subscribe to my channel below for a quick tip every Friday. And I also do a quick card on a Monday. Thanks for stopping by.